Clouds will partially reflect infrared radiation. Remember that when a wave reaches a boundary, it can reflect off the boundary, transmit through it, be absorbed by it, or some combination of the three. We see this behaviour with the infrared waves from the sun as they reach the Earth. Unless it's a clear day, these waves will hit clouds before reaching the Earth's surface. When this happens, some of the energy of the wave will be reflected and sent back into space, while some of the energy will transmit through the cloud and reach the Earth. So how does this affect the temperature of the Earth? Well, during the day, parts of the Earth's surface below clouds are cooler than those that are not. Remember that during the day, infrared waves from the sun reach the Earth's surface. This transfers energy to the Earth, heating up this part of the surface. However, if the waves have to pass through clouds to reach the surface, then these will partially reflect them. Since only some of the energy of the wave transmits through the cloud, this means that less energy reaches the Earth. As a result, this area under the clouds will be cooler than the areas not under clouds during the day. But what about at night time, when there are no waves from the sun reaching this part of the Earth? During the night, parts of the Earth's surface below clouds are warmer than those that are not. Remember that the Earth is heated by infrared waves from the sun and cools itself down by releasing energy as waves. During the day, it both gains and loses heat, while at night it will only lose heat. If there are no clouds, then the waves the Earth emits are free to escape into space. However, when there are clouds, then the waves will need to pass through them. Remember that the waves only partially transmit through the clouds, meaning that they will be partially reflected back down towards the Earth's surface. This means that some of the heat the Earth released is reflected back down to it. As a result, this part of the Earth's surface under the clouds will be warmer than this area under a clear sky. For your exam, you should be able to apply your knowledge of infrared radiation and heating to explain how clouds affect the temperature of the Earth during the day and during the night. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.